Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, if you're not new here, welcome back, you guys. Um, today is September 30th, 2021. Okay, this is going to be a general collective message for Gemini. Beautiful Geminis, my fellow air sign. I am a Libra and I don't have any Gemini or Aquarius in my chart. Um, it's kind of weird, but I have a lot of uh, earth and fire in my chart. So um, anyways, we are in Mercury retrograde. We are the end of the month. We have um, the new moon coming up. Oh my gosh, there's just so much. I mean, seven planets in retrograde. It's like super crazy, okay? So this is gonna be for the first week of October. Take what is for you in this reading and leave the rest. If this is your message, you guys, claim it, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and come back for more. All right, let's just get right into it. Let's get the energy around Gemini. You have the wolf moon, hunger moon. Funny, it's number 29. We, we're, we just had the 29th yesterday. Oh, holy shit, Geminis. And purity, that's the other one that flipped over in the deck and it's 30. You literally have 29 and 30. Today is 929, yesterday was 9. Or today is 930, yesterday was 929. Okay, September. Okay, it feels like you guys are closing out some major like past karmic cycles. I mean, energetically speaking, cosmically speaking, astrologically speaking, it, there's a lot of like past karma and stuff being cleared from everybody collectively. But you guys are doing some shadow work here. Okay, spending a lot of time with the moon, like maybe sitting under the moon outside of the stars. Hmm. You guys are like seeing things really clearly right now. Um, you're getting a lot of intuitive hits, intuitive downloads. You're connecting with your higher self. Um, you're getting clear messages about things. It's just this real clear energy around you guys with this purity, the snow moon. Another full moon. Two full moons. The wolf is a leader, right? You know, um, the wolf is very powerful, very wise. It trusts its instincts. It trusts its inner knowing, okay? Um, and I feel that you guys are just dead smack on with your instincts right now, your intuition, okay? Your higher self. Connecting with the higher realms. Also, this is you guys being driven. The wolf is very, you know, the wolf goes after what it wants, right? You guys are the wolf right now. The wolf energy. What else for Gemini? Resistance, see? Just bursting through the layers, just bursting through the problems, bursting through the shadows, bursting through the downpour. The downpour. This is fruition. You guys might be connecting a lot to birds right now. There's a lot of birds flying around, different kinds of birds, okay? That's also communication. This is communication of something coming in that um, there's a lot of uh, fertility around it, a lot of abundance, okay? There's a ladybug in this, okay? This is about wish fulfillments here. And with this purity snow moon and like this harvest hunger moon and all these things, right? Like... This is about uh, things coming to enlightenment, okay? Some things are coming to the light, the surface this week for you, Geminis. What else for Gemini? And the energy is coming in for Gemini. Beauty, look. As soon as I heard, I heard beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So what this is telling me, first of all, this is telling me that you guys are going through a lot of transformations good transformations, transformations of uh, ascend, ascending higher, loving yourself more. Again, do you guys hear this buzzer? This, it's like an alarm going off. There's a church behind us. Look at this blossoming bottom of the deck. I'm going to pull that and then we're done with this deck and we're going to hop on. This. I'm going to shut my windows. I, I thought I wanted to hear the, you know, nature and have the windows open. It's real beautiful out today, you guys, but and that started right when I started your, your reading. Right now I'm hearing, sound the alarm, sound the alarm. Um, so I feel that, you know, Gemini, sorry, you guys, if I'm like shoving my booty in your face. Um, okay, that's much better. But it's like this energy of something alarming. There's something coming to light here that's going to be alarming to you, okay? 
Um, and this, with this beauty and then at bottom of the deck, bottom of the deck for me is what the universe wants you. It's what you don't see coming, right? I know you don't really see all of this coming, but this is like what the universe, it's like a PS, a PS from the universe. That's what I always say. Blossoming. Look at this. She is a bad bitch. She's rooted in her ground, in her world to Pachamama, to mother earth. That's not easy for you guys. I know because I'm a fellow air sign. We get up here a lot and it's about coming down into here and, and grounding ourselves and, and you don't need st stabilizing. There's a lot of beauty coming to fruition. Okay. There's a lot of beauty and enlightenment coming in this week for many, many, many of you Geminis. Okay. Keep in mind, this is a collective reading, general reading. Okay. It's not a personal reading. If you guys want to hone in on your life, your spiritual side, your love, anything, just message me. It's down below. Email me in the description box. But this is the flower moon here. Look at that beauty. Look at all the flowers and the beauty and the transformation, the butterflies. There's a lot of earthy stuff going on here. A lot of earthy stuff. So you have like, you have, I feel like you guys are seeing a lot of three, three, three and sevens. Yeah. Definitely. Also 11, 11, 11. That's going to be one too. Let's get some spirit animal. Let's get a spirit animal for Gemini. For Gemini this week, what is a spirit animal around Gemini? Definitely this wolf energy with that wolf moon. Oh, whoa, you guys got the black egg, the golden egg, and the stingray. Okay. So this is like this is crazy, but sorry, you guys, if you can hear that coughing, it's my roommate. Um, this is abundance here. This is truth, clarity. This is also completion of cycles within your, your spiritual self, like your soul. You completing karmic cycles, completing karmic lessons, coming full circle. This is about the truth. This is about the absolute divine truth coming to light within your life. Okay. This is about coming out of the shadow. This is about blessings. This is about being true to yourself too. Like being honest with yourself, true to yourself, loving yourself. This is that beauty. I beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That's what I heard. As soon as I pulled this card, that's what this is. It's definitely coming out of a darker energy and into this light where you're just shining. Okay. You have full moons, this purity, this blossoming. It's like, it's really beautiful energy, fertile energy, the stingray. Look at this. I heard someone's growing a spine, like to come towards you, like a backbone. Someone is following, like they're, they're, they're like growing a spine. And with all this, look, it's heart chakra lit up, heart chakra, or heart chakra, like chakra activation here, okay? This energy, there's like an energy between you and someone who's coming in or someone that you've known that they are like working up the courage to approach you, talk to you, reach out to you, and you, you light them up. There's something about the light, the energy, you, they are attracted to your energy. It's something along the lines of that, Okay. Um, so let's see with tarot. Let's see what comes out in the tarot for Gemini for the next week, for the first week of October for Gemini, please. And thank you. All right. So we have the eight of pentacles. Wow. Okay. So you guys are very like focused this week. You're very driven. You're, you're focused on work and, and, and creating and you're, you're, uh, you know, you're focused on your, your craft, your, your, your career, whatever that is for you. Okay. Very determined, very focused. Um, but this is also something about this. It's like a, someone working on an offer or working on something. Tell me about the eight of pentacles for Gemini. The hangman. Okay. Okay. So, and then the nine of pentacles. Hmm. Nine of Pentacles is a high vibrational energy. You know, it's kind of like the minor arcana empress in a sense. Um, she's got it going on. She's got it going on. And 
to me, it seems that this person is just very focused on you or when they come in, they will be very focused on you. Yeah, look, six of pentacles. This is equal. It's like someone that's like, uh, that's going to be very giving to you. Okay. I just heard not a taker, not a taker. Okay. So many of you guys are used to that. You're used to people that just take, take, take. Okay. And don't give anything. There's no, it's not reciprocated. Okay. It's, it lacks reciprocity. This is not that. This is all pentacles here and the hangman. This is someone who, um, maybe someone that you have dealt with in the past. It could have been a little stubborn or had different th things hanging them up in life, you know, where they were, they weren't able to really give. Okay. Um, or it's, it's that. And I'm also feeling that it could be a new person coming in. That's just going to be like hung up on you. I'm really getting with the hangman right now. I get a ton of different energies off the hangman all the time, different readings, but this right here is it's, it's hung up. It's hung up on someone. It's a hang up, right? And with the scales here, it's like, it's this energy of, yeah, they're going to be very giving here. Give me the energy specifically around love this week. Tell me about love this week for Gemini. Whoa, okay, you got Queen of Cups, Three of Swords. Okay. For some of you guys, this could be someone from the past that, you know, in the past, they hurt you. They may have been a little um, emotionally like manipulative or, you know, I'm just kind of getting that energy off of this three of swords and the queen of cups right here. Um, so it's like you kind of, you left it behind. Okay. You left it behind. Um, yeah. It's something manipulative. Yeah. So you left it behind. You moved away from this person. Is this someone returning from the past? King of Swords matching with the Six of Swords and the Three of Swords. For many of you guys, this could be another air sign, okay, that you dealt with in the past. Doesn't have to be, by any means, by any means. Um, but it's just the energy of it, right? It's kind of someone who they blocked you out. They blocked it out. Um, they held emotion in like heart emotion and they, but they were, like I said, like for a lot of you, they were manipulative in a sense, emotionally. Okay. Um, oh yeah. Okay. They kept you hanging spirit. They kept you hanging for a lot of you guys. They kept you hanging. Yep, chariot. So you you picked up and you chose yourself and you said, nope, I'm out of here. You triumphed over that lesson because for many of you guys, yep, this is a lesson. This person, this connection was a lesson. You triumphed. Yeah, you triumphed. Look at this. You can't make this stuff up. Look at this. The tower came out with the star card. You triumphed. It, divine intervention here. It was a test. The universe was intervening, right? in a sense, lining something up for you to ascend, to learn to love yourself more, to gain something, to see if you are ready for what's to come. That's what I'm feeling here. And you pass with flying colors, right? You victor, you triumph, victor, you triumphed. You are the victor of this. And it came out with the star card. It was a destined, it was something that was meant to happen, lined up for you, okay? Tell me about the star card because this is a wish fulfillment coming in. And I think I said that earlier about something. I can't think of what it was now, but I think I said it feels like a, I don't know if I remember what I said. Tell me about the star card. <laughs> ah, Queen of Pentacles. Yep, there it is. Whoop. Sorry, guys. Hold on. This one flew way back. Okay. Queen of Pentacles here. Wow. Okay. So this wish fulfillment. Okay. This is something, um, this is something very like stable very stable. When I looked up a second ago, the time was 14, 14, breaks down to five, five. This is 10. This is completion, completing major cycles. Okay. And, and these beautiful, you know, uh, faded or destined moments, the, the stars are aligning, the universe is lining stuff up. It's starting to come in, right? 
Look at that, Queen of Pentacles. She's the Queen of Money, honey. She's sitting pretty. She's sitting pretty. That's why that peacock is next to her, you know. And um, and she she gets a lot of respect. She's very motherly, nurturing, compassionate, kind. You know, she's the the Queen of Earth, essentially, right? But this is an offer. Tell me about the Star and the Queen of Pentacles. It's justice. It's karmic justice. It's wish fulfillments, manifestations, and all that, right? It's it's what's meant for you. You've 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 cleared karmic debts. You've paid it. You've learned lessons. You've ascended. You move forward. You know you've grown. You become a better person because of it. You're loving yourself more because of it. And now the universe is like kabam, kabam. Here is your wish fulfillment, Gemini. Look at that. Can't make this up. There's your wish fulfillment, Gemini's bottom of the deck. What did I say earlier? Bottom of the deck is a PS from the universe. It's what you don't see coming. It's what you don't see coming. And we have the three of pentacles right after that. Someone's definitely been working on something here. Building strength. Let's do some romance angels. Tell me about the star card, the lovers. I knew, I felt that this past person, so we're in retrograde, guys. So do not be, you know, we're going to have people popping up from the past, okay? It just, it, it happens. People who were toxic, people who were manipulative emotionally, people who were, you know, um, just not good, like a toxic karmic. Um, I don't tell you what to do, but with me, I would be like, nope, no thank you. No, thank you. I'm good. So remember, that's a part of that lesson you learned. Okay? Walking away. So when they pop back up, what do we do? <laughs> Keep that in mind. But if this is a situation where this was, you know, if it was just someone who had, you know, just gotten away in the past and it kind of just crumbled and fell apart and it never really got the chance to lift off. It was short-lived. Short-lived is what I'm hearing. And someone like that comes back. Take it slow. Take it real slow till after, after retrograde, you know, that's all. Okay. Lovers and the star card for Gemini. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. I'm hearing divide and conquer. Okay. So I feel like this is someone that you're going to be able to build with. Conquer. Life with. Tell me about the lovers and the start. Ooh. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay. This could be childhood trauma, inner child stuff. Like I said, we're closing out a lot of karmic stuff, cycles, past life things, a lot of stuff. Okay. You guys are clearing. There's a lot of stuff going on. So you guys might be feeling nostalgic. You might be thinking of your childhood a lot recently, like just memories of that I don't know but there's stuff with that stuff that happened in the home when you were little like you know whatever but there's a lot of that happening here so you guys are definitely in this moment moving forward from that okay as that clears more and more right you're getting your good karma it's coming in it's it's making room for that space for that energetic space for all the good stuff to come in um but this is also about forgiving parents it literally says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so you're you're your love life could literally be affected by, um, you know, resentments, things that haven't been healed, stuff like that, of that nature from the past. Tell me about honeymoon and family issues. Okay, so there's the romantic feelings. It says your feelings are real and worth exploring. And look how he's holding her and look how this one's holding her very passionately, very sensual. It's very like, I love you. I love you. You have codependency that just came out right as I was saying, I love you and past life relationship. You've known each other before. Yeah. So definitely with this lover's card, the star card, past life, this person coming in is a past life love. Okay. Deep, deep soul bond, soulmate could be a twin flame for sure. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, so this could literally be about all the stuff I said about the healing earlier. Being codependent on past behaviors, past thoughts, traumas. Um, it's about releasing. Um, it's also about, you know, 
truly what I'm feeling because it came out with past life is that you guys are going to be like addicted to each other. Not in a bad way, in like a real sexy way, a real sexy way. I mean, the energy that I'm feeling off of these with this codependency, it's like something you've been waiting for. It's the love the, ugh, that you've been waiting for, Gemini's. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. All right, so first week of October, you guys are going to be potentially coming into contact with this person, right? This person is going to want to spend a lot of alone time with you. That's what I'm feeling. They're in wedding gear. They're in wedding gear in this picture. So for me, that's like, this could be the one kind of energy. Universe agrees. Spring, it's the new moon. It says new beginnings. A fresh, it says fresh excitement, rejuvenate, set goals and intentions. Yes, absolutely. This is a time to really focus on all that. Focus on the future. Focus on the next moves you want to make. What do you want, you know, what don't you want to bring into the future that you have right now? You know, it's that kind of stuff. Definitely um, a reminder for you guys. It says a surprise. Yeah, I think this is going to be a surprise. Coming alive. This person is going to make you feel alive. You guys are going to feel alive with this person fertile new cycle remember earlier i talked all about fertility and all the green and the flowers and all the the butterflies and the and the birds that says it says yes spring into action yes the universe came out the very end it says yes gemini erica's right what else does speak for gemini <gasps> i told you this could be the one It's a pact, a cycle. It's it's a it's a soulmate pact. It's like a contract, a past life contract. You guys have done this before. You made this in a, a previous life. It says partnership, trust, alliance, commit, circular, continuing on, closure, a promise, and bond. Yeah, this past person might come back and it just gives you some closure. Whatever. You're probably way over it at this point, but hey, like maybe it gives helps give them closure, okay? Anyways, it's you continuing on, and this is what comes in. This is what comes in, Gemini's. Beautiful Gemini's. Ah, universe agrees again. Look, you got the sun card. It's the happiest card in the deck. And the first word says yes. Yep. It's exactly what's happening here. Oh, holy shit. Whoa. That diamond ring came out with the sun. Oh, wow. See, guys, when I speak, the universe backs me up. Okay, it says proposal, engagement, agreement, next level. Someone wants to take, they're going to, this is going to be next level. This connection is going to feel next level. It's going to be very intense for you, Gemini. This is a promise. It's partnership, a statement of intent, marriage, and union. This is love. This is love. Look at that. Pachamama, that's Mother Gaia right at the very end. Like a mother, it's going to be such a love. Oh gosh, wow, Gemini's. I'm excited for you guys. I'm really excited for you guys. So first week of October, whatever, September 30th to like, I don't know, the 7th, the 8th. Um, anyways, I'm sending you guys lots of love and light. If this resonated, if this is your message, claim it, hit the like, subscribe. I will see you guys soon. I'm sending you guys all love and light. Bye for now, Gemini's.